Well, Stephen Gilchrist with me, the uh, head coach at Berwick Rugby Club. Big blow, of course, last year, uh, getting relegated by that odd one point. But uh, um, but how about uh, how about this season? Obviously, there's been a lot of work in the close season. Yeah, in the close season, we've had a lot of work. Um, the numbers for, for pre-season training have been very good. Um, a lot of our senior players have, have come back to the club sort of thing. Um, and hopefully, you know, with that blend of senior players coming back and the youth players that have come up through the Colts, that hopefully, you know, we'll be bouncing back straight back up into the Premier League because that's where we really want to be, that's where we really aim to be and that's where we think we should be. So hopefully, you know, a season of just one season down in, in the National Leagues and hopefully get back up next season. Big challenge for you, of course, to get the players' spirits back up again. Oh yes, but it's never really been a problem because the guys are, we're a very close-knit community sort of thing. You know, every guy that's playing for our first team have come through the youth system. So, you know, trying to get the spirits up quite easy to be quite honest because these guys have you know, played together a lot through the youth system and what have you so um, hopefully you know it's just a bit of fine tuning by myself and by Dougie you know just trying to get the spirits up but hopefully that will come in the first couple of games uh, if we get the wins going get the momentum going and hopefully everything will be fine from then on. And talking to a few of the, the Berwick players uh, earlier a real determination isn't there to get right back up there in the Premiership? Oh yes yeah, a lot of the players you know they've played there before and they're hungry to get back there you know because that's where they think this this club of this size and this structure should be. How did it affect the players mentally because uh, as I say it was just that one point that you, you got relegated by but it meant so much coming out of the Premiership and into the National League. Yeah it does it, it really did affect the players you know at the back end of last season but you know hopefully you know they've had a really good off season and they've come back pretty determined in the pre-season and um, they're all eager and enthusiastic and they're all ready to go and ready to go. Now as a consequence obviously you've lost a few players but you've you've gathered a, a few from from uh, from within effectively from youngsters coming through um, how's that going to affect the team? Um, I th well, you know, it's disappointing to lose some of our players, you know, but um, we've got a couple of guys, senior guys that, you know, were away last season through work commitments, so they're coming back on board, um, who are senior players with a lot of experience. And we've got some very good youth players who have come up, so hopefully, you know, they'll just n nicely fit in there and gel in and, you know, and hopefully we can go forward from there. Of course, you'll have an interesting little tussle uh, local derby against uh, Langham. Two local derbies this season, which should, which should be quite entertaining. Yeah, we will be. Yeah, we're, we're used to the local derbies. Obviously, we've been in the border league now for two or three seasons, and uh, we've played all the sort of senior sides. Um, but no, we're really looking forward. It's a team like Langham that we haven't normally played because we've always been in the Premier Leagues. But no, we'll be looking forward to going up to Milltown and you know, and meeting our old friends up there. So. In the, in a sentence, what about the new season ahead? Um, very optimistic. Um, hopefully, we can bounce straight back up, and you know we're really looking forward to it.